Hey everyone and welcome to Friday Live. So very excited to be with you all again and um, please pop in and say hello and let me know that you're here because it is always wonderful to know who's out there and who I'm talking to. So today I am excited to be um, showing you again a little demonstration from my table. So during the week, I had someone pop into my studio and she had an idea of something that she wanted to do. So it was uh, Janet. So thanks, Janet, for popping in and giving me the inspiration for today's live. And um, so what she, the project she was looking to do was she wanted to paint some gum leaves onto um, a welcome board for her daughter's uh, wedding. And so we got to chatting and I said, oh, why don't you make it three dimensional and do um, some beautiful leaf elements and actually add those to your artwork and it would just look gorgeous. So anyway, she's going to go away and have a play with that. And so I thought I'd show you guys um, what we basically talked about and the possibilities for making gorgeous gum leaves with Powertex. So it is super simple. And the great thing about this process is that it is really, really, really light as well. So for those of you who love wearable art and love millinery um, and just um, want to do garments or whatever, uh, this is a perfect thing for you to have a play with because it is super light because it's simply done with masking tape and wire. So Hey Donna, lovely to see you. Thanks for popping in and um, I know you commented on uh, Lynn's beautiful piece which of course is on the cover page. So I'll just put a little bit of information up there for you. So um, the piece that was on the cover page was actually not was, is actually by Lynn Reading and she's a WA artist here and she works a lot with Polymer McClay and she does a lot of small works and she's played with some beautiful uh, Powtex as well and looked at incorporating the two together. So really, really lovely. And the piece featured on the cover page is called Twin Peaks and it was part of um, uplifting art bras for a cause back in 2017 and she won the Power Up Award. So, of course, she got uh, the Power Up was for the Powtex Prize and uh, she just demonstrated some really gorgeous techniques. And so because part of her artwork features the gum leaves, I thought it was perfect to showcase on today's live for you guys to see what is possible with this um, technique. So like I say, we're going to use very, very simple materials. So Powtex Ivory and Vista uh, Patina Colours from Powtex, as well as simply masking tape and some wire. So let's get cracking, shall we? And please, the benefit of being here live is that if you have any questions along the way, you can ask them. Or if you have any projects that you're particularly thinking of doing and think that this might suit them, we'd love to hear about those as well. So let's go um, and I'll just pop up and see. Okay, so let's go down to the art table and we'll, we'll get going. Let's go. So you can see on my art table here that I've got um, some various leaves and I've shaped them all like a gum leaf shape. Now, if you wanted to, you could obviously make them any shape whatsoever and use the similar technique. So it doesn't have to even be a leaf. So you can see, um, I'll just hold that up to the camera. So you can see some of the gorgeous surfaces. So how it starts out is it begins with um, this sort of uh, just masking tape and wire form. And then uh, we're going to add the color with the Powtex art supplies and get some beautiful finishes. So you can see by the time you've actually finished the surface of um, those pieces, 
that you really can't even tell that it's masking tape. So no, it goes from looking like masking tape to actually having these beautiful, um, colourful, gorgeous, rich finishes and surfaces. So uh, how to make it? So let's have a look. So simply we'll put these aside and... Uh, I'll show you quickly how to make the form. It is super simple. So uh, this is what we're aiming for is a couple of leaf shapes. And like I say, you can do them in any uh, shape or form you want. So you could do wider ones, you could do curly ones, you could cut out bits. Um, so there's all sorts of possibilities. And again, the possibilities are endless. So we've got some armature wire. I like working with the 1.7 mil armature wire, but as I said in last week's video, Art With Anything, you can use um, electrical wire and strip it down and inside you will find some copper wire pieces. And Donna's just saying the leaves look amazing. Thank you. And uh, I can't... I can't wait to see what uh, you do with some leaves in your artwork, Donna. I know you've been playing with it anyway and uh, you you do some beautiful work. Um, so we've got some armature wire. It is 1.7 mils and the nice thing with the armature wire is it's really easy to bend and form. So uh, it's just really nice. An alternative to that, of course, is you can get a really fine fencing wire from your hardware store and that will be just as good or like I say you can actually strip down electrical wire and form that. So then you need some masking tape and some scissors and of course you've used your pliers as well to actually cut your wire. So essentially that's all we are going to use to create the form. So scissors, wire, pliers, and um, some tape. So the good thing with the tape is it's actually a paper tape. So it takes the Powertex really, really well. So remembering that anything porous is going to um, be fantastic with the Powertex. So uh, the paper tape takes the, the Powertex just beautifully and uh, is a really nice absorbent surface for it. So I'm then going to lie that wire down through the centre there. And you can see I haven't totally straightened up. It's still a bit bendy. If you want, you can uh, make sure it's totally straight. And then I want a second piece of tape that is going to, oh, going to go on the top section here. We'll just go with where it's fallen. Now, if you do get any scrunchy bits, see how I've actually got a scrunchy bit in there, it doesn't matter. It just adds more beautiful texture to the leaf. So you might even deliberately put some texture into it as you actually um, form and shape the leaves. Once you have that on, uh, I quite like to make sure that I have covered all the sticky ends just because it sticks to the scissors, but I'm not going to worry about that too much for today's purposes, and it really doesn't matter. And then we just cut a leaf shape any old way we like. You want to get a nice point at the top, so whether you come right down to the wire or whether you... Um, you know, leave a little bit of the tape hanging off the edge. That's just up to you and personal preference. And then we can just pull that off. So there we go. We have our leaf. Now, what I have done with these ones is uh, once I have created the form, I have just simply given them a coat of ivory Powtex. So the ivory Powtex, of course, is the Powtex Universal Medium, which comes in... 11 different colours and so it comes in uh, white and in ivory and all sorts of different colours. Green is perfect for doing your leaves as well. Um, so you can see 
that the ivory is just going to give us white base so it depends on just the base color that you would like to use as to what you select okay so simply getting a brush and I've already put a bit of ivory into a cup here and I've got a plastic glove over the top of it. Then all I want to do is just get the ivory powtex and I'm going to just give it a quick coat of powtex. And there we go. So that's just given it a little layer on there. If I wanted, I could go straight on with the Bista finish and we might do that just for fun, just to see how it comes up. Um, so with the other ones, I actually did a coat of ivory, let it dry, and then I hung them over a clothes horse. So that's a really huge tip for you. So you can see um, <laughs> I've taken the bend out of these as I was showing you but they were actually bent over uh, like that. So I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Um, so it's just got a little hook on it. And I've got the clothes horse lying here next to me. And so I can just hook up uh, all my leaves as I'm doing them so they're not lying flat on the table. So if I did lie them flat on the table and paint it flat, what will happen is I'll get over painting onto the plastic behind the um, piece and because it's Powtex it dries and you're going to get this crispy little edge which you don't really want you want a nice leafy edge and you don't want to have to cut back into it so that's just a little tip for you hanging it on the clothes horse is gold um, and it saves you putting them down on the table it also means that you can do both sides at the same time so like I say I have put um, a layer of Powtex on there. I'm just going to swish a, a little bit more just because I can onto there and make sure it is um, thicker and thinner in some areas. And then I'm going to get my bisters. Now, I should have talked about this first. So let's just put the leaf aside for a second. So the bisters are a patina um, paint which comes from Powtex so it's like a patina color and it's really nice to spray onto your wet Powtex and if you spray it onto a light colored Powtex you get the crackle effect of the uh, Powtex coming through from underneath so it comes in seven different colors plus the original Bista now the ones that I have used today are actually the liquid Bistas they come in a 500 gram quantity and they're really great because you can they don't clog up your spray bottles so if you've been working with the powders and love those it's really nice to have the pre-mixed liquids in your stash as well because um, you won't find that they clog bottles so much Alrighty, so we've got uh, yellow Bista and I'll just hold that up so that you can see that more closely. Then you've got a mahogany, you've got red, you've got natural brown, um, green, blue and black. And then, of course, this is the original Bista, which for those of you who know me know that I love that original Bista because it has the most gorgeous sepia tone and in your artwork it is just absolutely stunning. So uh, Bistas are one of my favourite things and you'll hear me talking about them an awful lot. So if you are looking at Powtex for the first time, I highly recommend uh, getting a dark coloured Powtex, say the brown or the black, and a light colour like the ivory or white. And, of course, the ivory or white will allow you to do what we're doing today. So it's a lot of fun. And then maybe start with a couple of colours. All right. So what I am going to use is I thought I... Uh, so this is how the um, liquid Bista looks. So it comes in a, a container like that. And as I say, there's six of those colours and then the original Bista as well, whereas the powders come in seven colours, including a natural brown Bista. 
So it's super, super, super fun to use. And what I've done is I've put them in various spray bottles. So if you can get some small spray bottles, they're really, really nice to use because you get a finer mist spray. So I've just got these um, new ones that I'm going to test. They're teeny weeny and they've got a very fine spray. So I'll be really excited to see how they actually spray up um, and uh, work. So just get those from anywhere and um, you can see <laughs> this is a spray bottle for carry-on travel and so I got just that from the cheap shop. Alrighty, now my leaf has probably dried off again so I'm going to need a little bit more Powertex because when you're putting the Bista on, you want the... Uh, Powertex to actually be wet so that it is going to get a nice crackle effect. There we go. Splash a bit more on there, move it around. And I will talk you through some of the colours I used on the, the other ones. All right, so what I'm going to use is I thought I'd use a bit of red now, the trick with this is not to overdo it. So <laughs> I know many of you out there will be laughing because um, those who know me know that I, I just always get carried away with the Bista. So I'm just going to try and spritz it just a little bit without getting too carried away. So you can see that's got nice colour on it and you can see it is quite messy. So I'm going to move my chart out of the way. It's already pre-sprayed with a bit of Bista now. And so that's the red. And I'm also going to, I might pop a little bit of um, brown onto there as well. And you can see, like, I just get super excited and carried away. Okay, so once we've done that, then we're going to actually take the hairdryer and we're going to crackle that. So um, let's go with that. So I've got a little hairdryer here. And oops, we'll just go with cracking that. Now, So you get the idea. I won't totally finish that. The other thing um, that I do like to do, so you just would finish it until it has um, fully cracked and you can see that there's some nice surfaces on there. And then I like to just play with a little bit of layers. So you can see uh, here's the red one that I have done. So you can see the difference um, between the two. So that's just drying it off a little bit longer and also then just carefully spraying and adding maybe a little bit more bista here or here and down the sides of the leaves. So this one is more obvious in terms of um, see how you can see the line down the sides of the leaves. That's because I um, had some excess bista on my table here and I just sort of took it and put it around the sides. You can, of course, also just get some on your finger or on a brush. So let me just pop some, maybe we'll use a bit of black. I love having all the colours because I do use all the colours. Now, if I wanted to, I could use a brush or I can just simply use the best tool in the house, which is my finger, and I can play with actually adding 
a little bit more color onto there. And so you can see already that's just giving a little bit more contrast to the piece. And, of course, I go quiet when I'm creating. <laughs> How many of us do that, right? Okay, so you can see that's now got some nice contrast in it. And um, I can then get my red power text again and I can actually spray a bit and I can allow it to dribble and drip. I'm getting it on my masking tape now. So Donna's just saying that she's um, got the <laughs> got the Vista on her phone screen before. Um, and so you can see how you can really play with that. And then I can actually dry that off as well or I can just allow it to dry uh, naturally. And if I wanted to, I could play with putting another layer on top of that. So you can see how it goes from being just a very simple um, piece of masking tape and wire to being this incredibly beautiful um, finished surface, which is just absolutely stunning. So it is a very simple technique, um, but it is super, super, super effective and so great for so many different purposes. So I'll just hook that over. And so remember what I said, I can actually then hook that onto something. So I'm just going to hook that over um, a cup or something here, which is right next to me. And then I can finish that off later. So let's just take a look. I might move my um, messy, <laughs> my messy bits and pieces here. And um, so that we are without Vista spray everywhere. And um, then we can take a little gander at some of the other colours that I have used. So Tina's just saying um, she loves it, absolutely. Um, I love this technique too, Tina. Lovely to see you pop on with us today and uh, thanks for joining. It's always wonderful to have people actually make comments because then I know that you're here and I'm not just talking to myself and it's a lot, it's a lot nicer. Okay, so what do I want to say? I want to talk to you about the Bist colours and the bits and pieces that I have actually used. And, of course, for an alternative finish as well, you could actually use um, some green Powtex, which also would be, a you know, give you a different coloured base. So let's take a look at that. So this is um, some holly, uh, a holly leaf that I made at Christmas time and uh, never got used and finished. I think I made about 50 of them. And you can see, if you look carefully, um, see how there's a little um, tag. Hang on, I'll see if I can show you. So there's a couple of little imperfections around the edges here. That's because when I did it, I lay it down because I was in a rush because I was doing 50. <laughs> and um, naughty me, you know, I should follow my own instructions. And how simple is it just to have something that you can hook it on and then you can paint both sides at the same time and hang it up. So top tip there. Okay, so this one was actually done... Um, with, let me just see if I can get it in front of the camera there for you. So this one is done with the Ivory Powertex, of course, as a base, like I've just shown you. And then it has um, green, blue, and it's got a little bit of a splash of red. And then I've simply taken the green around the sides, like I just showed you how I put the black around the sides. Now, you can see the other side is actually really nice as well. So you can choose whichever side you like the best to be the feature side of your artwork and to show the most. So that's that one. Uh, this, this one here is done with mahogany and red 
and a little bit of the um, brown bister. And you can see the beautiful glossy colour, and that's because you're using the ivory powtex and you're using the bister on it. And it just gets this most magnificent uh, gloss finish. Now, if you do want a matte finish, it would just take a little bit of experimentation to get more of a matte finish. And you can see, um, again, the background of this one is quite different to the front surface. So, um, like I say, you would just choose your favourite one. And um, the great thing with these as well, so if we take one that I haven't formed too much, is that because it's got a wire through here, you can actually, once it's dried off, you can actually form, scrunch and shape and mould it so it looks more like a natural fallen leaf. And isn't it beautiful? It's just so lovely. And, you know, you can just play to your heart's content. It is a lot of fun to do. It's very meditative. Um, so you'll, you should really, really enjoy this. So maybe um, you could do this as a project for the weekend uh, and have a play with some just forming some different shapes in leaves and uh, have a play with what you can come up with. So you can see this one, I've just simply buckled the wire more. So it's more like I've... Um, what surface do I like? I like both of these ones. Okay, let's go with this. And so I've just sort of done, um, made it more buckly. And of course, you can scrunch it up more. Um, you can fold it and twist it as much as you like once you have done the form. Um, you want it to look like a natural formed leaf, so you, you want to make sure that the curves work well as they would in nature if it was a found, a found object. So there you go. So there you have it. So that is leaves, beautiful gum leaves, um, made here in Australia with Powtex and um, a really, really, really exciting thing for you to have a try with this weekend. Um, now, of course, I did talk about the, the fact that you could use the green Powtex as an alternative. And if you did that, then, of course, you could colour it up with some beautiful metallic pigments or some of our matte pigments or with any acrylic paint as well on top of that. So the great thing with the Powtex is it is water-based. And so if any water-based materials, art materials that you already have, you can actually use on top of the Powtex as well. So glorious. Have a great weekend of creating. And don't forget, please, if you have loved this, we are now streaming to YouTube and it would be fantastic if you could like and subscribe to our channel and it will be really super easy for you to watch the replays there and find exactly what you're looking for. And to learn more about Powtex, of course, as well, you can go to the website or you can find a trainer near you and um, they are listed on the website and actually get in touch with someone and do a fun workshop. So guys, I hope you have thoroughly enjoyed today and that it has inspired you to do something more with Powtex. And um, I look forward to seeing some leafy creations in the um, Facebook group as well, which if you haven't connected with us there, it is the um, Powtex Australia Creative Hub on Facebook. Find us there and uh, join us today and share your creations. So we love seeing what you do as well. So um, it would be awesome. And please leave a comment. So I hope you've enjoyed today. And from me uh, now, it is a simple adieu. And um, I'll just take the banner down and I'll just check over the comments. So a few people have said hello and um, uh, we've got a lovely comment. Donna is saying, hi, this is funny because I've been making leaves and butterflies lately and I hadn't thought of cracking them. Awesome. So there you go, Donna, something for you to try. And um, another question, Donna's, another Donna is just saying, 
Um, if I'm putting them outside, should I varnish them? Yes, absolutely, because um, they have the bister on top. The bister is not a permanent finish. So yes, I highly recommend varnishing. So you can use our beautiful Easy Varnish, which has a liquid wax in it, or you can use a spray art varnish and then pop them outside. Uh, thanks, Janet. Lovely to have you pop in with us, and I'm really glad that you've enjoyed it. Um, and uh, Barbara's just saying, that's what I missed too. So out of tape and wire. Yes, Barbara. So you can watch the replay and you'll see how easy it is to form these. And um, Tina has said, they look so real. I missed the beginning and didn't realise you made them from tape and wire. So clever. They are beautiful. They are a lot of fun to make. I know you guys are going to love them. So get cracking today with ivory and vistas and have a play with these beautiful leaves. Have a fantastic weekend. Stay well and safe, everyone. Until next week, and uh, I will see you then. So um, please be sure if you have got any other comments or questions, please ask them. I'm always ready to help. And uh, Donna's just saying, dang, I just joined in. My phone was muted. <laughs> she didn't get the reminder. So, hey, from Canada, lovely to see you. And thanks for joining us as always. So from me to you, have a fun, creative weekend, everyone. Thoroughly enjoy um, yourself and get creative. Ciao now.